finished having my midterm exams this Monday, so I'm still feeling kind of weary today. In order to get my flow back, I decided to make a simpler video this time, which is a what's in my bag video. I've seen so many of these videos on YouTube already. They're easy to make and very fun to watch, so I thought, why don't I make one as well? This is the bag I'm currently using. It is a black Kipling bag. I've been using this bag since middle school, which was more than 6 years ago. Yet, it is still in a tip-top shape, so it is a very good investment. I have quite a lot of keychains here. The first one is this black gorilla, which comes with the bag. His name is Leslie, if you're wondering. The second one is this purple elephant. I got this from one of my tutors in my public speaking class. Next one is this cute voodoo doll. One of its hands is somehow damaged and it's pretty sad. I'm gonna try to fix this soon. And the last one is this skull keychain. What's really cool about this is that it has this button here. And if we press it, the skull would let out an evil laughter and red lasers will come out of its eyes. It's fun to press on it whenever I'm in class just to creep people out. Now let's see what I have inside my bag. I will begin with the biggest pocket which is the middle one. The first thing you will see inside is my trusty hand thing. Boy. Now I have a very good reason for bringing him with me. He protects my bag from being rummaged by other people. So whenever they open my bag and try taking some stuff away without my permission, thing will scare them away. Besides that, he gets along pretty well with my friends. They seem to like him a lot. The next thing is my pink binder. I write all of my class notes in here. I'm thinking of making a video about note taking tips later. Please let me know if you would like to watch one. I also have this other notebook which I use to scribble down random things because I wouldn't want to do that on my pink binder. I've had this since middle school as well. My belongings tend to last a very long time for no reason. This is my YouTube notebook. I made the cover myself if you're wondering. I write my video ideas here. Every time I get an inspiration, I will put it in here so I won't forget about it later. This is my diary. I know it's probably a foolish idea to carry your diary around with you, but I don't write any secret in here. I mainly write about what I eat for the day, so it won't be a problem if people read it anyway. I always bring a book for me to read in class while I wait for my friends to arrive. I'm currently reading this one which is called How to Win Friends and Influence People. I'm almost finished with this. See? Only few pages left. Next is my black Kipling pencil case which matches my back. It also has this same gorilla, so it is Leslie's twin brother. Guess how long I've had this for? That's right, since middle school. My big brother has the same pencil case as this one. I asked my mom to buy this for me because I wanted to have the same pencil case as my brothers. I just like copying my big brother ever since I was little. It's what younger siblings do. So those are all the stationaries. Now let's move on to the miscellaneous things. I have my black Prada wallet, which is actually my mother's. But since she never used it, she decided to give it to me because I have always wanted a more mature wallet since I'm in college now. So thanks mom for giving this to me. I have some cards and some money in here. Would you like to see how Indonesian money looks like? Here, I'll show you. The blue one is equal to 4 US dollar and 30 cents. The green one is equal to 1 dollar and 72 cents. The purple one is 86 cents. The yellow one is 43 cents. And finally, the gray one is 17 cents. We have a very low currency here in Indonesia. Rupiah is actually one of the world's least valuable currencies, which is pretty sad. But rather than whining about that, let's just move on with the video. I always have this water bottle because I drink a lot of water every single day. It contains one liter of water which is more than enough to satisfy my thirst when I'm in college. Next up is my purple polka dot umbrella. The downside of living in my city is that it's either really really hot outside or it's raining cats and dogs. Either way, I need this to protect myself from the sun and also from the rain. This is my spectacle case. Inside there is my purple converse glasses. I've worn it in one of my videos before. I mainly use this when I'm in my programming class to minimize the impact of the radiation coming from the computer screen. Now let's take a look at the back pocket. This is my phone and iPod case. I got it recently and it's very very cute. My phone is Sony Xperia M. Wanna see my wallpaper? Yeah, because I want to see a My iPod is actually 
actually an old iPod classic. I've had this since high school, not middle school this time. It's completely battered, but it's still working fine so I'm not planning to get a new one anytime soon. This is actually a coin purse or a change purse, but I use it to carry some pads for emergencies. It's also very useful if one of my girlfriends needs one. Next are my pocket knives. Now, if you are still in school, then don't carry this kind of thing in your backpack because if there is a surprise inspection, you will get in a lot of trouble for that. But since I'm in college and there is no such thing as inspection here, it's safe for me to carry this inside my bag as long as the authorities don't find out about it. These pocket knives are pretty cool because it comes with the contents. I never use it but you never know when it might come in handy. Finally, here is an extra money in case I forget to bring my wallet with me. Even if this is worth less than 5 bucks, it's still worth a lot in my country. Now let's check out the last pocket which is the front. I have some candies and some gums in order to keep me awake in some boring classes, a pack of tissue and also a pack of wet tissues. I prefer wet tissues to hand glue. I prefer wet tissues to hand sanitizers and I'm a lot of hand sanitizers anyway and I really really need to get some. Here are some plasters in case anyone gets a mild injury, a hair comb to brush my fringe, a hair bow in case I want to thin my fringe back, some oil control and body papers. These are essential because my face tends to get oily pretty easily. A face powder and this one is from Body Shop. A flower hair clip, a Nivea lip balm in the shade Fruit Shine Strawberry, and finally a Transformin, which is an ointment that I use whenever I have a mild cold. Okay, so those are all the things I have inside my backpack. I hope you guys enjoy watching the contents of my bag. That sounded pretty strange. Now, like always, I have a question for you guys. What are the things you always have in your backpack? Please tell me in the comment box below because I really love to find out about what people carry inside their bags. Yes, we are all indeed very nosy creatures. Okay then, thanks a lot for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for those of you who have subscribed to me. I love you so much and Thing loves you even more. I will see you all in my next video then. Have a nice day everyone. Bye-bye.